when you said, would you shave it? I was like, oh, there's not like a lot. Mm-hmm. If you were like, I will give you $100 to shave your beard, I'd probably do it. 100 like, I don't actually care there that much about it. There probably is someone who would give you 100 That's you not very so? much. Who? Yeah. yeah. I, who would, I mean, who there's cares 10 people that, that would give you $10 to do it? Put it on Craigslist. Instant response. Shave me. <laughs> yeah. $1,000. I want you to shave me. <laughs> Rev up your engines, race fans, because we're doing a micro cast where we are going on a race. My name's David. I'm Emily. I'm Joe. Joe, hey, He's my name's here. Mike. Hi, Mike. Joe came up with this idea, actually. A takeoff on Mario Kart. This game is called Hypotheticart. Uh, where we are going to be playing racers in vehicles in different environments and also discovering different power-ups. All of these things are elements that we have created prior to this. However, we have not drawn uh, what we're going to be yet. We're going to do a small drafting process to determine who we are going to be racing as and what we're going to be racing in. So I think to start it off, let's just pull all those racers uh, off the pile there. Emily, do you want to yeah, give me an assist? I love, I love announcing. Good. And uh, announce who our race options are. So here are the characters we can choose from. Krang. <laughs> Good Craig. old Craig. Teddy Roosevelt. Yes. Alfred Hitchcock. Oh, he's there. He's back again. Lizzo. Yeah. I wonder who wrote those. <laughs> An octopus named Nancy Johnson. Oh, man. Small time news anchor looking for her big break. Oh, I love it. Mr. Zapper. Yes. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> and zombie Abe Lincoln. Oh, yeah. So, I almost wrote regular Abe Lincoln. It would have been funny if they'd been both in there. <laughs> Abe Lincoln and great. zombie Abe Lincoln. If, especially if you had written regular Abe Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> you so, got to specify. So just a review of our racer options. We have, uh, there's Krang, the brain guy from Tr- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, oh. usually inside the body of that cyborg thing. If you not, do you not know what that is, Joe? Do you know who Teddy Roosevelt is? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock directed a bunch of movies. Yep. Lizzo is a, she's a, from the Twin Cities. She's a- um, Singer, songwriter, rapper, very vibrant personality. The other ones I think are self-explanatory. So I'm going to assign each of these characters vehicles. Crane gets Christine. Oh, the the car, the scary car, the Stephen scary King car, car that's okay. possessed. Okay, cool. Teddy Roosevelt is on the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. I almost wrote <laughs> yes. oh. that down. <laughs> oh, I'm so into that. That actually fits really well. Yeah. Crane and Christine kind of worked. Alfred <laughs> Hitchcock is with a sweet BMX bike with pegs. What's pegs? <laughs> Ooh, Peg, yeah, like yeah. you know, on the back so you can uh, do grinds or you can carry okay. your friends around. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I got yeah. it. Okay. Pegs. You Pegs, can do grinds. You can do grinds. Uh, Still not 100% Lizzo, sure on what those things are. Lizzo is a Rick on a rickshaw. Okay. Oh, wait, she's on it or she's like carrying it? Oh, that's a good question. I think question. she's riding it. And I think she's riding it. There's, 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 carrying yeah. it. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. An octopus named Nancy Johnson has a party bus. Ooh, oh, yes. yes, she does. A small time news anchor looking for her big break is in a Ford truck with puppies in the back. Oh, heck yeah. And Mr. Zapper is on Herbie. Oh, yes. <laughs> love bug. Oh, that is, that is very funny. Uh, zombie Abe Lincoln is on a jet powered Segway. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, wow. gosh. That All is right. a lot. of Zombie Abe Lincoln on a jet powered Segway is just a lot of information. It is. It's very it overstimulating. So we have uh, we have our racers. We have our vehicles. So we have a deck of just one, two, three, four cards. So we're going to decide who is going to draft their driver first. Joe is first. Oh, I'm taking Zombie Abe Lincoln on the jet powered Segway. <laughs> oh, right for the- oh, that man. sounds really fast. This is a good one. <laughs> yeah, right. but very out of control. I got to pick the small time news reporter looking for her big break in a Ford truck with puppies in the back. There's too much narrative juice in there. <laughs> Any good me. one. Yeah. That's so fun. <laughs> Yay. Nobody took the one I wanted, which is an hey, octopus. Hey. That oh my god, I never mind. Three. Oh, I forgot four comes after three. It does. I uh, never mind. I didn't want that one. Um, you take whatever one you want. I'm going to take that one. That's <laughs> what I wanted. You took Nancy Johnson. I took an octopus oh, named Nancy Johnson on a party, party bus. bus. Sorry, man. It's mostly the party bus because I, whenever I actually play racing games, I like the big bulky vehicles just because <laughs> I like to see like how they can even handle it. There's another one. Yeah, I'm going to be Teddy Roosevelt in the Wienermobile. Um, Might as well. Uniquely American. Should we find out what our first environment is going to yeah. be? Yeah. Where um, will we I'll, be I'll, racing? I'll, I'll draw it because I was last to pick the last one. Our first environment we will be racing on is the belly of a whale. So fun. <laughs> yes. Great. All right. I can go ahead and start. 
an octopus named Nancy Johnson on a party bus. Um, this is tough because the <laughs> party bus is pretty big yeah. and the belly of a whale is big, but <laughs> probably not super big. So I'm having a hard time rounding the corners. Um, right. However, as an octopus, I am friendly with whales. So <laughs> yeah. I can communicate with this whale through our special ocean bond. Oh, yeah, that's real. You know, I can just like navigate like when the whale is kind of like burp eat oh. i just like know what's up with the whale um and i can kind of drive according to uh where they're at in tune so i i would say i'm doing okay feeling okay feeling all right yeah i've also got the similarly kind of awkward to steer uh, oscar meyer wiener mobile driven by teddy roosevelt who probably hasn't driven a vehicle along those lines you know probably ever in his <laughs> life no, but he's, he's a very shocked. adventurous guy so i think he would just go gung-ho to the belly of that whale also the fact that i look like food i think would be good yeah um, that's probably because i fit idea. in better <laughs> yeah. in the belly of the whale because yeah, all those other snacks one of whale's favorite foods are hot dogs as we all know they like to eat krill plankton and Oscar Mayer wieners. Maybe that would have hurt, actually. Maybe they would try to digest me. Like the, <laughs> the whale's stomach acid would be trying to digest this hot dog machine. So Teddy Roosevelt might not be doing so great. Actually, I feel like I might be in last place right now. Aw. I've decided that my name's Julie, the small-time news anchor looking for her big break, because it's easier to say Julie than it is to say a small-time news anchor looking for her big break every time I talk about myself. Julie's driving this Ford truck with puppies in the back. Julie's doing great. Ford trucks, oh man, thank you for the sponsor money, first of all, but they handle <laughs> amazingly on a whale tongue. Can't be stopped. You can turn those corners, no problem. The puppies hate it, but Julie's <laughs> loving it. Great. Zombie Abe Lincoln is, uh, this is living in an alternate universe in which Abe Lincoln wasn't shot at a theater. He actually was swallowed by a whale. Oh. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. uh, and now there's a- He's been living in here for a long time. He's been time. here a while. It's Who wants to race me? <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly there is a jet-powered segue, which he's built with his own zombie hands. Oh, how uh, And he gets off to a very fast start. But you know those people playing Mario Kart who just run into the wall and can't turn? Oh, and they no. have to crash and then turn straighten uh -huh. themselves? That's what's going on here. This oh, is no. too small of a space for any uh, significant breakaways. So mm. he's in pain if he had pain receptors, oh, okay. which I'm not sure he does anymore. I guess we'll find out yeah. as the story unfolds. Who wants to draw the next environment? I'll draw again. We are now in Spiderland inside David's beard. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. We're, we're back. <laughs> so oh, there it is. We went inside indeed. down the rabbit hole. I would say canonically that cool tall spider from our past episode. If you haven't listened to episode 50, go check it out. <laughs> There's a cool human sized spider that has a great car yeah. that lights up Shoot. underneath and everything. They're probably here racing yeah. right now. Just too. like join in the race. Yeah, just joining in. There's five players. They're like now. normally racing. They're just like doing <laughs> figure <laughs> Picturing more like the the monster in Ski Free. If you get too oh, far behind, no. he's gonna eat. It. He's gonna catch you. Nasty. <laughs> now that we're in Spiderland, we are gonna equip ourselves with power ups and see how that affects the race. Oh, cool! So Julie's power up is a box with mysterious food inside. Julie immediately eats that food and becomes very sick <laughs> <laughs> it was just like uh, it rotten was just meat <laughs> some old food uh and uh unfortunately julie uh, has to turn the wheel of the car over to one of the puppies uh they are puppies that she is teaching how to drive which is a real thing in australia uh thank you australia for being so i don't great. know if that says something impressive about australia or something disturbing about it says australia. Something australia about australia <laughs> this puppy is trustworthy and julie goes to the back of the car to uh You'd be sick. Uh, Zombie Abe Lincoln has discovered a glove that shoots fireworks out of the fingers. Ooh. Yeah, this is exciting, although a little dangerous to have uh, fire in a pistol because it keeps the spiders away very well. Right. Nice. But uh, he chooses to shoot these at the puppies in the back of the truck. No. Yeah. And including the one driving. No. Uh, not a fan of puppies over here. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it, they're, they're pretty dangerous puppies. to zombies. They like to, they don't like the smell. Oh, so they, yeah, I yeah, guess that it's, makes it's, sense. It's, yeah. it's a problem. Gotta so take out the threat. Nancy the octopus uh, she gets turbo farts in this <laughs> spider oh, land. I'm so yeah. happy you got that one. <laughs> uh, me too. I'm, I'm happy you're happy. So Nancy is doing really well. The turbo farts she blasts into a zombie Abe Lincoln. Oh. She's also just doing well in general because, you know, eight legs, eight tentacles. Like, again, oh, yeah. she kind of has a special 
communication with the environment, a kind of understanding. They see Nancy, the spiders, and they see a compatriot. Right. And just so, a wet, uh, wet, wet spider. <laughs> yeah. Farty, wet <laughs> spider in a party bus. Like what more could these spiders want? So they jump in and like give her like little tips and tricks and she's oh, killing it. Wow. They're like, oh, there's this turn coming up. You want to go off the ramp and go through this tree and you'll shortcut into the, mm-hmm. they're, they're mm-hmm. giving her all the sweet secrets. This whole communicating with animals thing is working really well for you. It yeah. is. Nancy it Johnson. Is. Wow. Well, I, I've been lagging behind in my Wienermobile. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt's still trying to figure out how to drive modern, <laughs> modern technology. <laughs> But uh, I feel like watching all this chaos unfold where you guys all attack each other and I am now armed with a glitter cannon. So I think I launch that into the air and uh, (laughs) kind of just start a big spider party and all the spiders that are all around like come out onto the track and kind of swarm over the rest of you. I launch the glitter over to you guys and I'm like party time and all the spiders love it. And so a big (laughs) spider party starts happening all over you guys and I kind of like try to sneak on by you. Interesting. Spiders love glitter. I feel like glitter would be super bad for Nancy the octopus because it would stick to her. Yeah. 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 Too sticky. Where are we going next? We keep driving and then we come into final section. Level three. Level three. The moon. The moon. (laughs) We ramped all the way up to the moon. Oh my gosh. It just says moon. (laughs) It does say moon. It could be any moon, I guess. I just assumed it meant moon. You know what's crazy, you guys? I put the moon too. (laughs) Yeah. Awesome. Who do we think's doing the best, Mike? Do you want to start? Yeah, I think Mike, so. Mike threw that glitter party and really got to the moon first. Yeah, so I'm on the moon, used up all my glitter in my glitter cannon, but uh, fortunately I have a hypothetical button, <laughs> 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 which I'm actually going to interpret as a button in my car I can press that plays the hypothetical. <laughs> That's an important button. And so I push the button and I'm listening to the hypothetical. Teddy Roosevelt is like, what's a podcast? He's so confused that he learned loses control of the Wienermobile and goes skidding off into a crater. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh dear. bummer. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. he's. But he really likes the show, though, guys. So keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. I have a banana cream pie that turns into an evil clone of whoever it hits. Whoa. Um, wow. Which is honestly an amazing power up i'm very pleased with it so yeah nancy arrives on the moon in her party bus she got out of those spiders and um she now has this amazing magical tool and i think she's gonna put it to pretty good use i think you're right Joe, what do you got? Uh, well, <clears throat> Abe Lincoln is uh, is at an advantage here in the moon because he doesn't really need to breathe as a zombie. Oh, that's true. So he doesn't have a problem with that. He yeah. he just uh, attained an attack chipmunk. Oh, God. And nice. this chipmunk has a nice little uh, helmet that keeps him breathing up there, which is, <laughs> yeah. which is useful. Uh, so, But attack chipmunks are kind of hard to control. So he just sends it off. And shoots it off, Go. and it just scatters around until it goes after the octopus because it's like, you know what? That's slimy. Julie, the small-time news anchor looking for her big break, I think has found her big break because she received a CD of motivational quotes read by none other than Michelle Obama. <laughs> Oh, and uh, she's feeling amazing. You remember when she got sick by eating whatever that spider food was? Not anymore. She is on top of the world, on top of the moon, you might say. Yeah. And she's actually uh, teamed up with the dogs. The dogs are all like helping her drive so she can like stick her head out the sunroof and like look around for challengers so that she can, I don't shoot know Shoot them what. very confident yeah, looks. Shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe throw some of the mysterious food. There's still some left and she might throw it into their open mouths. Got it. That's her plan. It's not a good one, but she's feeling good about it. Now let's see who wins and who loses. All right. So who's going first? Who's, who's So I'm still stuck in the moon crater. <laughs> Listen to the guest. But Moan, what a good show. Uh, just, just really digging it. I think I'm going to write in, come up with some would you rathers, uh, and, uh, just an exposure to all this technological advancement that's happened around me, uh, Teddy Roosevelt in the last uh, few decades is really impressive. So I'm not even worried that I'm stuck in this moon crater, possibly for the rest of my life. In a Wienermobile. In a Wienermobile. At least I have lots of hot dogs lots to eat. Yeah. Dogs. By which, I mean, the Wienermobile is made of actual hot dog material. I can just eat it. <laughs> well, that was the problem for my chipmunk. He went after the hot dog um, and, no. uh, oh, no. and tried to eat it through his helmet and it wouldn't work. And so, uh, you know, and the jet powered uh-huh. Segway was having problems in the atmosphere. Couldn't move very fast and so that was that's my problem is my vehicle gave mm-hmm. up and zombie Abe lincoln is just putzing along there and probably finishing a 
couple days, but right. not anytime soon. The nice thing is you finished I, as opposed to Teddy Roosevelt, who decided to just kind of live in a moon crater. But he also is alive. He's alive. He's living. Do you think that- And enjoying life with the hypotheticast. <laughs> Do you think zombie Abe Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt could maybe meet up and talk about like president stuff? I don't know if there's much talking happening over here. Also, uh, Nancy threw her banana cream pie at uh, the chipmunk- and huh. zombie Abe Lincoln oh. and the Wienermobile. She never quite hit Whoa. Teddy, but uh, she had those three. So now there's an evil Wienermobile, an evil <laughs> chipmunk, <laughs> and an things. evil zombie Abe Lincoln <laughs> also tooling around. Big pie. Um, so yeah, she did uh, She did some good work with that. And then, you know, then she had that stuff out of her, her uh, hair, shall we say tentacles. But in everybody mm. else's hair. And she's just... Driving along with the party bus, uh, she's very focused. She's feeling good about how she's done so far. She's doing her best, but apparently it's not quite good enough. Because Julie, riding now on top of this Ford pickup truck, <laughs> arms just pumping wildly into the air, is screaming about how she's finally found her big break because she's been filming this whole time. Oh, and oh, nice. she has gotten so much amazing footage of that zombies are real, of that apparently chipmunks can be trained in some way and also have cute little helmets. There's so many wacky, zany, evil versions of characters as well. She's like, this is going to make me so much money. Everybody's going to pay me a ton of money for this footage. And then she looks around and she realizes that, she, that she's winning the race because she's just riding those positive vibes. Thanks to Michelle Obama. Just mm -hmm. a very, very textbook drove a car faster than a party bus. That's why Julie won this race. That's all you really needed to do in the end, it turns out. <laughs> Just drive your car. I am so disappointed to hear that this was filmed because now zombie Abe Lincoln's hatred of puppies is would be well known. Yeah, and he's going to get His trashed is, on the internet. Yeah. yeah. I'm super happy for Julie. Yeah, I, feel I like, think she's going go I mean, to go on to big things. I mean, obviously, Nancy's pretty awesome, too. I mean, she's an octopus who can drive, but <laughs> I think this is well-deserved. Yes, she's earned it. Hey, listeners. If you want to find us on the internet, there are a few ways you can do that. You can find us on Facebook. You could find us on Twitter. At both of those places, we're just at Hypotheticast. You could also find us on Instagram, Hypotheticast underscore IG. You could email us, Hypotheticast at gmail.com, or go to our very cool, very fancy website, Hypotheticast.club. Yeah. And while you're on the internet, why not zoom over to another place where you can write a review of us? Anywhere's fine. Just write a review of the Hypotheticast somewhere on the internet. Then leave your home and find a friend and tell them about us with your mouth. Thank you to Jaden James and the Hunger for their song, Killing It, which is our theme song. It's from their album, Raw. Thank you to Christian Hagen for designing our logo. Thank you to Joe, again, Yay. for being here for a whole two weeks. <laughs> and thank you to you, the listeners, for listening, for submitting questions, for being cuties. All right. Until next time, I'm David. I'm Mike. <laughs> oh, is this a thing? I'm doing I mean, it. are you Emily? I'm Emily. <laughs> I'm show so unsure and yeah, this has been this is very confusing <laughs> i was gonna say like i don't know i was gonna come up with a fun end of the podcast character but i didn't oh, I just well, we can do it again yeah, we might need to do that one all again. right here we go <laughs> thanks for listening i'm jeremy no that's not fun <laughs> <laughs> here, i'm right. gonna look at the different environments thanks for listening i'm Christian Slater. Oh, great. That's so much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Playing a character fun? named Jeremy on the hypothetic cast. I don't know. I feel like I have an immediate picture of who Jeremy is. That's what I'm saying. We did it. It was a rousing game of hypothetic card. Hypothetic card. Hypothetic card. Yes. Yay. That's it. All right. Wait, Dustly let's, named. let's edit that bit to the front. Uh, this game is called hypothetic heart. There we go. <laughs> I <laughs> feel like that tone so clearly. Yeah. I'm editing this in. Hypothetic heart. <laughs> there. Now, now we're transparent.